In this video, we'll be taking a look at three MLB games happening on June 28, 2024, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three MLB games. After after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks, parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. New York Yankees vs. Toronto Blue Jays In the second game of a four-game series within the American League East, the New York Yankees are set to face off against the Toronto Blue Jays at the Rogers Center on Friday evening. The New York Yankees are expected to be the favorites in this matchup, given their superior performance over the season compared to the Blue Jays. Additionally, Marcus Stroman has been pitching at a level reminiscent of his peak form. However, it is important to note that the Yankees have not been performing well in recent weeks. Meanwhile, the Blue Jays have shown shown moments of strong play over the past month. While Yusei Kikuchi might not be the best pitcher, he has been quite respectable when playing at home this season. Despite these factors, the Yankees continue to struggle, particularly against left-handed pitching. Although Yusei Kikuchi has had an inconsistent season, he has generally been reliable for the Blue Jays. Given these considerations, even with Stroman pitching for the Yankees, there is value in betting on the Blue Jays, especially with the slight plus money advantage. Therefore, the Toronto Blue Jays' money line is our full game side pick. Examining the performances of these starting pitchers in June reveals a tendency to allow too many runs. Marcus Stroman has a record of 2-1 with a 4.91 earned run average and a 1.41 WHIP over 22 innings pitched across four starts. On the other hand, Yusei Kikuchi has a record of 2-3 with a 6.04 earned run average and a .337 batting average against over 22.1 innings pitched across five starts. Additionally, both teams have struggled with their pitching recently. Over the last seven days, Days, the Yankees have the second-worst team earned run average in the league at 6.91, while the Blue Jays are not far behind, ranking 24th with a 5.49 team earned run average. Entering Thursday, the Yankees have seen the under hit 41-38-3 in their 82 games this season. They rank 5th in runs scored per game, averaging 4.98 runs, a figure that increases to 5.23 runs per game when they are on the road. Overall, the Yankees have an average of 8.77 runs per game this season, which rises to nine runs per game in away games. Conversely, the Blue Jays have seen the under hit 42 to 35 to 2 in their 79 games this season. They rank 26th in the majors, averaging 3.89 runs per game, a figure that slightly decreases to 3.78 runs per game at home. Toronto averages 8.35 runs per game overall, which marginally increases to 8.43 runs per game at home. Given Kikuchi's recent struggles, it is likely that the Yankees will score enough to push the game over the projected total. Thus, over the projected total is our full game total pick. Houston Astros vs. New York Mets A three-game interleague series begins on Friday, featuring the Houston Astros going head-to-head -head with the New York Mets. The Astros come into this series fresh off a sweep of a quick two-game set against the Rockies at home. Similarly, the Mets are riding high after sweeping a two-game series against their cross-town rivals, the Yankees. This will be the only series between these two teams for the season, adding an extra layer of significance to each game. Both teams enter this matchup on a hot streak, making this an exciting series to watch. The Astros have the edge in pitching with Blanco, who boasts a significantly lower earned run average of 2.34 compared to Quintana's 4.58. Blanco also leads with 21 more strikeouts and has given up fewer home runs than Quintana. Despite the Astros' overall record of 40-40, Blanco has been stellar with an 8-2 personal record, largely due to the team's strong performances when he is on the mound. Interestingly, Blanco excels in away games, with his earned run average dropping to 1.98 in five road starts this season, allowing just two earned runs over his last 20 innings. While Quintana has managed some recent wins, he now faces a Houston team boasting the best batting average in the major leagues. As the Astros aim to catch the Mariners in the American League West standings, Blanco's presence makes them the favored team in this matchup. 
Both the Astros and the Mets are showing signs of turning their seasons around, playing improved baseball recently. However, with Blanco pitching, this game appears to be a favorable spot for the Astros. Blanco's solid road performance this season should continue against the Mets. Houston has won 11 out of the 14 games that Blanco has started, thanks to his ability to limit the opposition's scoring while the Astros' offense heats up. Therefore, the Houston Astros' money line is our full game side pick. Both Blanco and Quintana have been performing well lately and should be able to contain both offenses effectively. This season, the Mets have hit the under in 36-40-2 games, but at home, they are 24-18 and hitting the under, with CD Field proving to be a pitcher-friendly park. Conversely, the Astros have hit the under in 48-28-4 games, the best under record in MLB this season. The Mets are poised for a potential letdown game here. They are coming off high-scoring victories against the Yankees, but the law of averages suggests they will not maintain that offensive output. Scoring 9 runs in the first game and 12 in the second against the Yankees, the Mets average only 4.8 runs per game. Facing Blanco, who has allowed just two earned runs over his last 20 innings, the Mets are likely to struggle, with two strong pitchers on the mound under the projected total is our full game total pick. Pittsburgh Pirates vs. Atlanta Braves A highly anticipated senior circuit matchup is set to kick off a three-game series on Friday night. The Pittsburgh Pirates, currently holding a 39-41 record and a 20-21 record on the road, will face off against the Atlanta Braves at Truist Park. The Braves, boasting a 44-34 overall record and an impressive 24-13 home record, will look to continue their success at home. The last time these two teams met in late May, Pittsburgh emerged victorious in two out of the three games. Martin Perez's return to the mound presents a significant challenge. The Braves excel at home, with a team OPS of .753, and their performance against left-handed pitchers is nearly as strong, with an OPS of .745. Pittsburgh's bullpen, which has the third-worst earned run average in MLB, could struggle to contain Atlanta's potent offense. Meanwhile, Charlie Morton has been stellar at home this month, allowing only one run in 12 innings pitched. Atlanta's bullpen ranks fourth in earned run average, further solidifying their defensive strength. The Pirates, on the other hand, are in the league's bottom third in run production and are unlikely to pose a significant threat to Atlanta's pitchers. Despite a rough outing in his last start, Charlie Morton has been reliable for the Braves this season. He holds a 4-4 record with a 4.2 earned run average, a 1.3 WHIP, and an 80-35 Kelvin BB ratio over 14 starts. Opposing hitters are batting just .239 against him. Morton's upcoming matchup against a struggling Pirates batting lineup is favorable. Pittsburgh ranks in the bottom 10 in the league in several offensive categories, including runs, hits, home runs, RBIs, strikeouts, batting average, OBP, SLG, and Ops. Given Atlanta's consistent hitting against left-handed pitchers and Pittsburgh's unreliable bullpen, the Braves' money line is our recommended full-game side pick. Pittsburgh's offense has been lackluster this season, ranking in the bottom 10 in multiple key statistical categories. Despite Charlie Morton's subpar performance in his last start, he has generally been solid for the Braves. His season stats include a 4.2 earned run average, a 1.3 WHIP, and an 80-35 Kelvin BB ratio over 14 starts, with opposing batters hitting .239 against him. It's unlikely the Pirates will generate much offense on Friday, given Morton's strong home performance this month and the formation Atlanta bullpen. The Pirates lineup, ranked 22nd in scoring, does not pose a significant threat. On the Braves' side, their offense managed only one run against Perez in their previous encounter. Although the Braves' lineup isn't as dominant as last year's, they remain a formidable team. However, it's unreasonable to expect Atlanta to single-handedly push the game total past the projected number. With Morton on the mound, a lower-scoring game is anticipated. Thus, under the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed, subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.